Tonight, three communities, Watertown, Lynn, and Stoughton, have been deliberating what to do about the notorious animal scare of 1987, the pit bull problem. Marcus Jones has been observing the Watertown debate where the animal owners have a question that could make enforcement of any ordinance difficult. The question is, what is a pit bull? Pit bull. They're fast becoming the most feared animals in America. And with each new attack, those frightened cry out for more restrictions. We're trying to prevent it. Do something before it happens, before a child is injured, before a senior citizen is hurt, before handicapped, before even an adult, as you yourself or myself, are seriously injured. Uh, Nick Fisher lives in Watertown, and he's the author of a proposal that would require owners like Fred Grandinetti to keep their dogs muzzled at all times. I've walked the streets of Watertown for 10 years now. I've never had any problems with the dog. And now, all of a sudden, because of this ordinance, I will have to muzzle my dogs, and it just doesn't seem right to me. Grandinetti owns four American Staffordshire Terriers, just one of several variations of the fighting pit dogs that originated in England more than 200 years ago. Before the recent hysteria, pit bull varieties were often portrayed as cuddly friends, as a sidekick, for example, to General George Patton. Watch this cut. General, he'll kill that dog. Now, nah, hold And lately, Budweiser commercials have made a star of that party animal, Spuds McKenzie. Party animal, his name is Spuds McKenzie. But show dogs like Grandinetti's Staffordshire Terriers, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, and English Bull Terriers, like Budweiser's lovable Spuds, are all the same in the eyes of people like Nick Fisher. Well, maybe there should be some training as to what the dog looks like, but I don't think there'd be any problem at all. If a breed-specific law is passed and is upheld by the court, you still get into the problem of who can define what is a pit bull terrier. With the, the range that's acceptable by the United Kennel Club being anywhere from 20 pounds to 100 pounds, and not much more specific than that, it's very difficult to establish what is a pit bull terrier. Grandinetti says pit bull hysteria has made it easy to discriminate against his dogs. The animals are presumed guilty before the fact even though no pit bull attacks have been reported in Watertown for more than two years. They want to uh, punish a particular breed for really no apparent reason, and the punishment should go to the owners of the dogs who, who treat them in an irresponsible way and who bring them up in a less than satisfactory way. We are not going to take this out on the dog and not on the uh, responsible dog owners, but to prevent the irresponsible dog owners we're bringing the dogs into town, letting them run loose. We gotta prevent it. Tonight, pit bull ordinances are being considered in no less than three communities in eastern Massachusetts. In addition to Watertown, Lynn and Stoughton are also holding hearings, which means dog owners like Fred Grandinetti are spending more and more time protecting their pets from the public rather than the other way around. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.